by the audience. So I'm going to ask that you participate with them. So I know you guys weren't planning on being actors in a stage reading, but now you are a character. You are the great chorus. Um, so on the projection screen, we're going to project the um, words you'll say. And we have a great chorus leader over here named Buck who's going to help you get started and help you stay on pace. Every once in a while, these actors are going to join in with you for emphasis on certain lines. Just keep saying your lines. <laughs> so, thank you. Okay, so our first play is called He Who Says Yes. What we must learn above all, all is consent. consent. Many say yes, and yet there is no consent. Many are not asked, and many consent to wrong things. Therefore, what we must learn above all is consent. I am the teacher. I keep a school in the city, and I have a pupil whose father is dead. He has only his mother to look after him. Now I will go and say goodbye to them, for I shall soon be starting on a journey to the mountains. A terrible disease has broken out among us, and the city beyond the mountains has several great doctors. May I come in? Oh, it's the teacher. The teacher has come to visit us. Why have you not been to my school in the city for so long? I have not been able to come because my mom has been ill. I had no idea your mother too was ill. Please tell her at once that I am here. Mother, the teacher is here. Ask him to come in. Please come in. It is a long time since I was here. Your son tells me you too have fallen ill. Are you better now? No, I am not. So far, there is no known medicine for this disease. You must find one. That is why I have come to say goodbye. Tomorrow, I shall be starting on a journey across the mountains to get medicine and instruction. In the city beyond the mountains, there are great doctors. And a relief expedition through the mountains. Yes, indeed, I have heard that great doctors live there. But I've also heard that the journey is dangerous. Will you take my son? This is not a journey that a young child could make. Well, I hope you return safely. I must go now. Goodbye. There is something I must say. What have you got to say? I want to go to the mountain with you. As I told your mother, we are going on a difficult and dangerous journey. You cannot possibly come with us. Besides, how can you leave your mother when she is not well? Stay here. It is utterly impossible for you to come with us. Recycling because my mother is ill. I must go with you to get medicine and instruction for her from the great doctor across the mountain. I must speak again to your mother. I have come back. Your son says he is going with us. I told him he could not leave you when you were ill. I told him it's a difficult and dangerous journey. I said it was quite impossible for him to go. But he said he must go to the city beyond the mountains and get medicine and instruction about curing your illness. I have listened to his words. I do not doubt what the boy says, that he wishes to go with you on your dangerous journey. Come in, my son. Since the day your father left me, I have had none but you at my side. I have not had you out of sight or mine for longer than needed to cook your meals, to mend your clothes, and earn money. All that you say is true, yet nothing can move me from my purpose. He will go, go on, on the, the dangerous, dangerous journey, journey to get medicine and instruction about curing her illness in, in the, the city, city beyond, beyond the, the mountains. mountains. They saw no plea could move him. And the teacher and the mother said with one voice, Many, Many consent, consent to wrong things. He, however, does not consent to illness, but holds that illness should be cured. And then the mother said, I have no strength left. If indeed you must go with the teacher, but return safely. The men started on their journey to the mountains. The teacher, the, teacher, the, boy, the boy, were among them. them. The boy, the boy was, was not equal to the exertion. He strained his heart. A quick return was called for. At, At dawn, at the foot of the, of the mountains, mountains, he was hardly able to drive his weary feet. 
We have climbed quickly. There is the first hut. We will stay there a little while. We obey. We obey. That is something I must say. What have you got to say? I'm not feeling well. Be still. Such things may not be said by those on our errands like ours. Perhaps you are tired because you are not used to climbing. Stop and rest a while. The boy seems too tired from climbing. We must ask the teacher about it. Yes, ask him. We hear the boy is tired from climbing. What is the matter with him? Are you anxious about him? He is not feeling well, but there is nothing wrong with him. He is tired from climbing. So you're not troubled about him? Did you hear that? The teacher said the boy was only tired from climbing. But he is not looking. He is now looking very strange. Right, right behind, behind the hut, hut is a narrow ridge. Only by gripping the sheer rock with both hands can one traverse it. We hope he is not ill, because if he cannot go on, we, we must leave him here. Are, Are you, you Ill? ill? He does, does not answer. answer. We, we must ask, ask the teacher. When we inquired before about the boy, you told us he was only tired from climbing. But now he is looking very strange. And he, and he sat, sat down. down. I see he has fallen ill. You must try to carry him over the narrow ridge. We will try. stay here with him. No matter what, we must go on. An entire city is waiting for the medicine we are expected to bring back. Though we say it with dread, if he cannot come with us, we must leave him here in the mountains. Yes, perhaps you must. I cannot gainsay you, but I think it is right to ask one who has fallen ill whether the other should turn back on his account. I have great sorrow in my heart for this creature. I will go to him and tell him tenderly what fate awaits him. Pray go. They asked him whether he wanted them to turn back on his account. But even if he wanted them to do so, they would not turn back. But let him lie here and go on. Listen carefully. As your ill cannot go on, he must leave you behind. But it is right to ask a person who has fallen ill whether the expedition should turn back on his account. And custom also ordains that he who has fallen ill should answer, you should not turn back. I understand. If you ask us to turn back on your account, you should not turn back. Then you consent to being left behind. I will think about it. Yes, I consent. He has answered in accordance with necessity. He has said, said yes. yes. Go, go on. on. Go ahead. Do not stand still, for you have decided to go ahead. I want to say something. I beg you not to let me lie here, but to help me to the valley, for I'm afraid not to die here alone. We, we cannot, cannot do that. that. Be still, I demand it. You have decided to go ahead and leave him behind. It's easy to decide his fate, but hard to carry out the decision. Are you ready to hurl him into the valley? Yes. Guiltier than his neighbor, and flung clouds of earth and flat stones after him. 